On this episode of Mad Ginger Customs, we're going to teach you how to take your lift start plasma cutter and turn it into a pilot arc plasma cutter. The simplest, easiest way. Let's go. All right, guys, there's a bunch of videos uh, on YouTube on how to convert your lift start to a pilot arc. And uh, all of them kind of work. It's just that there's way too much required work to do to do that. These guys got you taking apart machines and adding connectors and drilling holes and stuff. I'm going to show you how to do it probably in 15 minutes. So here's what you're working with. So today our victim is our Bestark BTC 500. Um, if you guys don't know this already, go over to my last video and we're giving away an Art Captain Cut 50 plasma cutter in that video. So just go in there. Uh, the instructions are in the video somewhere on how to enter and they'll ship it directly from our captain. But we'll, just for victim's sake, we're going to go with the best arc machine. This is a lift start. So basically all you need to do to do this job is get yourself an AG60 torch. An AG60 torch is a pilot arc torch. Now you say, Dave, what's the difference between an AG60 and then this AG60? Okay. This AG60 does not have the pilot assembly in it, and the AG60P does. So most guys will tell you you need to take this entire machine apart and blah, 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 blah. I'm going to show you that you don't have to do that. So the only thing you need to do is this is where your, your, your work clamp goes. Your, and everyone will call this a ground clamp. Plasma cutters, this is not a ground. This is, this is the hot side, right? So this is the, the plus, the positive side. So all we're looking to do is take the one extra cable that comes with this torch because it comes with, this is basically the switch connector and then this is the power connector and it re it'll return ground through the switch. All we're looking to do is basically hook this up here. Now most guys take the whole unit apart, they'll punch a hole and they'll put a connector you don't need to do any of that. All right, the absolute easiest way to do this without having to disassemble anything of your machine is you're going to take off your ground lug. You're going to get yourself a flathead screwdriver. Now, I've already done this a bunch of times just to make sure I could do this. And then you push, push, push. Because you, you want to expose the, the lug inside it so you can get at it. And you're left with this right here. So what you're going to do is get yourself a set of metric Allen wrenches. You're going to crack this lug free. Right? So this lug comes off. If you pull it far enough. And you have any idea what you're doing. And then you're left with this. Right? Now, you're going to put this aside. You're going to come over to your unit. And I clip off the end. Boop. Because we don't need that where we're going. Then you're going to strip this back. Expose your copper and give it a twisty twist. You got to get your cable through this boot first, right? So we're going to push the cable through the boot like this, right? So we have the cable and the boot. And then we're going to run this together. And we're going to back this screw all the way out. So we can get both units in there. As long as this is underneath and it's tightened down, you're good to go. Right? Might even want to strip that back a little bit more, but let's see how this goes. So you're going to get this underneath like that. And then there's a little bit of a gap. And you're going to shove your wires underneath this gap, like so. And then you're going to give it hell, right back down to where it was. Tighten her back up. Use Swedish Torx specs, guys. You want that thing tightened to, to Gooden tight, right? Now, there's alignment lugs for your boot. So your boot has slots and then this has slots. So you got to line your, your slots up. So this one goes this way. 
and then in you go. And guys, that's it. That's, 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 that's all you need to do. And I'm going to show you how it works. So I'm going to swap the torch ends over. I haven't tried this yet, but I, I know it's going to work. All right, so all we really did was reconnect this new torch where the old torch was. You got the hose, you got the connector, we got our wire fed in. The and this is how easy this was, guys. All right, guys, here we go. Just to show you that this thing works, you drop it right on it since it's since it's got a it's got a pilot arc, right? Like nothing. All right, guys, there it is, cheap and dirty. Uh, these torches are only between, uh, these torches are only like 40 bucks. So if you already have a lift arc machine, you wanna make it a uh, pilot arc. Super easy, you watch me do it. This takes about 15 minutes of your time. You know, take the connector apart, slide it back under there, wrench it back down. You don't need to disassemble this machine. You don't need to add connectors. You know, the guys that are crying like, oh, what if you wanna take your cables off? Who, who, who does that? No one does that. You just wrap around your handle and pick it up. If you wanted to, you just cut this and put a slip, you know, blade connector in it. There's no magic here, guys. This is super simple. Let's not make it more complicated than it is. Hit that like and subscribe. Um, if you want to win a plasma cutter, it's not going to be this one. If you want to win an Art Captain Cut 50, check out my last video. I know this is going to be a short one this week. Uh, we're super busy and we're getting back on cars next week. So I don't know if it's going to be the truck or it's going to be the shoebox. It's going to be something. We're going to start going hard at the cars. And uh, we appreciate all you guys hanging out with us when we do you know, like tech videos like this or if we do reviews. So uh, just remember, guys, you watch me do this. It's, honestly, this took 15 minutes of my life to uh, basically give yourself a pilot arc. And if I can do this, you can do this. Thanks for watching.